What's good, YouTube? Man, we back with another banger. We just pulled up to the Goodwill bins. I'm not with my boy today, but I'm by myself, and we about to get in here and get this breach, you dig? But I'm about to get in here and see if I can find the good shit for the day. It's pretty packed right now, and it's currently 9.45. They open up at 9. Like, I'll see you guys when I get inside. Remember, before this video starts to go down below, leave a thumbs up, comment down below so I can respond to your comments, and remember to subscribe to the channel, you dig, man. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Man, I love you guys. I'll see you inside. All right, guys. So we got a bunch of dope-ass vines starting off with this London vlog with the rabbit here on the inside. Super fucking fire trench coat vine. Probably going to leave it because it is super hot. Next. That is super sick. I don't even know the brand. Fleet Streetwear, Street Sport, super sick brand on it though. It's kind of like a anorak. Cool vibe. Got this super sick flannel by Ozark Trail. Thick in the inside, sheep's ass hair. You know what I'm saying? And I found this vintage guest shirt. It's not really vintage, but. It's a pretty cool guest shirt. Super sick piece. Next piece I came across. Some Tommy Hill for your hands. Real casual. And then this piece right here, it's kind of stuff on. It's a Saucony tank top. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up. I can sell that real easy. Just give it a good wash. All right, so I know you guys already seen this next piece. This is a LeBron James t-shirt. Easy money, man. LeBron is the GOAT. 1823 on the front and back. All right, so next piece I came across was the polo. Wrap orange jeans, man. Look at that ass. They're simple, clean. Something I could do something with. Alright, so we came across a couple of fire bonds of Speedo swimming trunks. Really big ass pair. Found this New York Knicks inspired starter jacket. Kind of vintage. Embroidered in. Super fire piece. Also found like this baby's North Face Tonali. Super good condition. Fire piece overall. Nothing on the back. And last of all, super sick ass SpongeBob varsity race jacket. Like this shit is so hard, bro. This has to come over with it. Even though it's a kid's, it could fit a small fire piece. Alright guys, so I just going through my routine, digging through the pants, man. I came across this super sick in this tie dye shirt. Super fire. Nothing on the front, nothing on the back, but overall, killing piece. Alright, next I came across that Chaps Rap Lauren. We did super crazy ass vintage vertical stripe button down. Probably gonna keep that. All right, so now I came across this vintage tank top, man. This anvil on that anvil tag, man. XL, jazz of size, summer bump. Nothing on the back, super fire. And last but not least, man, this Coliseum Classic. I don't know this brand, but man, the vertical stripes. Giving me crazy Gucci vibes, you dig? Fire. All right, guys, so we are walking out with some goodies right now, man. It's pretty good in there today. Not as good as I was expecting it to be, but not too bad. Got some really good shit in there, man. I'll show y'all guys what I got when I get back to the crib. But as y'all know, when I come out here, I like to stop next door and see if I can find something real fast. So I am going to stop by either Salvation Army or the Goodwill main building, see what they have. But I'll see you guys when I get back to the crib and you see this drip, man.
See ya. All right, guys, so we just got back to the crib, man. Just found a bunch of heat when I stopped at the Salvation Army on the way home, man. But first, I'm gonna hop straight into the pickups from Goodwill Bins, and then I'm gonna move on to Salvation Army finds, man. Um, so yeah, let's hop straight into it. All right, so the first find for today, a super sick little blank gilding tee, man. It's a tie-dye purple and green Hulk type of vibes, man. It's super clean, super easy, no holes. It's a clean shirt. My next pickup was a super sick ass Saucony tee. Yes, it is dirty, I will clean it. But like I said, it is a Saucony tank top, man. Super clean for the workouts, you know what I'm saying? Something easy for the summer. Next pickup, probably one of my favorites from today because it is vintage, a summer bum, jazz, jazzercise tank top man something easy on that anvil tank on that anvil t you know what i'm saying with the tags something slight something nice for the summer like i said that's all i've been doing lately is copping summertime vibes so hopping into the next piece for this week's pickup man super clean super nice chaps ralph lauren t not even a t it's a button down super sick piece man with that chaps wrap worn on the chest on the pockets you know what i'm saying i like my stripes ver vertical man something clean something easy for you just to wear this next piece is similar to it but it's not chaps it's a coliseum t-shirt man it's not a t-shirt but a button down again a slip up by me again a uh, super sick piece nice little c on the chest i wish it was chaps wrap worn but man it's still a super sick piece. Vertical vintage stripes, you dig? We're gonna hop straight into it, man. I found that super sick ass SpongeBob biker jacket. You know what I'm saying? A little varsity throwback, you dig? On the sleeve, it's all embroidered. Super sick piece, and this is my favorite of all. The zap zap, you know what I'm saying? Jellyfish, and you dig? It's a 2XL in kids, but that means it could fit a, a men's small or a women's medium or large. It's super nice, clean, clean piece. On to the next bag, man. This is all from the Salvation Army. I stopped that. I didn't record in there because I didn't know I was gonna be in there long. But when I walked in, man, I just couldn't leave. It was so much heat. We're gonna start with something slight. I did find this Mountain Tea super sick piece man with the wolves on there crazy little piece super nice from 2011 mountain tee with the tie-dye type bobs to it super sick nothing on the back so i picked up something that could be kind of like a vintage summertime i don't know i guess you could wear this in the summertime but it's a really cool vintage hard rock london uh off-white vibe to it you dig Something clean, something simple, nothing on the back, but a super fire find. I was digging through the pants, and you know, I came across the heat. Vintage Nike on the tag, you dig? Super fire as pickup, man, for me. XL, black sweats, black on black. Super fire, man. All right, so the next piece right here, man. Super sick ass swimming trunks, man. Speedo. I didn't know they did colorways like this, but man, when I tell you the vintage Speedo swimming trunks are super dope. I didn't check the size on them. Size XL, man. If you see me in them, don't be surprised, but a super dope pickup overall. Next find right here, I couldn't pass on it. Something about me and the uh, throwback vintage Mickey and Disney World pieces that I've been getting lately super fire and this was a super dope bag that i found it's a dope ass mickey duffel bag mickey embroidered on the front genuine classic with the leather straps you dig and let me show you guys the tag on the inside nothing but heat around this way another dope piece to finish off this week's pickups guys i didn't think i would find one but I ended up finding one. It's not Kobe, but it is Karl Malone. Super dope as Nike 
jersey, you dig? I already have a Kobe jersey on my wall, so this would be perfect right next to Kobe. Overall, fire piece. So yeah, this week was really good. Found some really dope pieces. I hope you guys like the pickups from this week. They are super fire. No doubt about that. Everything in my hand right now is torch and I have more. Next week's video is supposed to be a lot better, guys. I have an online pickup video coming, so be ready for that. All right, guys, so that is it for this week's pickups, man. Definitely, if you like this type of content, remember to leave a thumbs up down below, comment so I can respond to all the comments, and definitely subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Man, when I tell you next week's video is a banger as well, you guys are gonna love it. Plus, site coming soon. Remember that site is coming soon, so be patient. And I'll see you guys on next week's video.